Timbuktu. Few places in the world have such an air of mystery. This city in the north of Mali is timeless and mythical. It sits right on the edge of the Sahara Desert. 80 kilometers west is the Lake Fagabine system. This remote region was once one of the country's most fertile areas. But in the 70s, there were catastrophic droughts. The lakes started drying up and the region's prosperity evaporated along with the water. In 2006, the government set up the Lake Fagabine Authority to reopen the channels. The lake is fed by two main canals from the Niger River. Clearing the sand which now blocked them was difficult. The heavy machinery which was first brought in got bogged down in the sand. The answer was to do it manually. So it approached WFP for a food for work project. While the men cleared the channels, the women planted trees which help hold back the desert. So far, some 200,000 trees have been planted. There is no comparison with life before and after WFP. We were so tired before WFP came here with food for our work. News of the project spread quickly. Many farmers who had abandoned the region came back and it provided much needed food to some of Mali's most vulnerable groups. In just three years, the work has produced a change which is nothing short of a miracle. The soil in and around the lake is so fertile, the farmers can harvest one crop and immediately plant another. Their animals are always well fed. They are not dependent on rainfall. The groundwater here is plentiful and stretches for five kilometers. This is organic farming at its purest. The vegetation you see now is thanks to water, because if we had not had water, you couldn't do anything here. No farming, nothing. It is thanks to the water. That's how we've managed to do everything you see here. The water which has been released into the region also means pastoralists have water for their animals. They no longer have to compete with the farmers for water. The animals have water, they have food, people have food, and even Lake Fagabine has pasture land. Before that there was nothing, it was dry, there was no water. There were problems between farmers and pastoralists, now there are no more problems. But the desert is always on the move. Even the dunes far from the channels need to be stabilized before they become a threat. Dunes and eroding cliffs of sand need constant work, which WFP is supporting with its Food for Work project. Desiri Amagu of WFP in Timbuktu says this is a project which should be supported. It's a rather simple project, but which has had a considerable impact. It has benefited the local population, the environment, and the biodiversity of the region. This has cost us only $255,000, which shows that with a small effort, one can have a huge impact on a vulnerable population. It's a small price to pay for ensuring food security in one of Africa's most impoverished countries.